This is the homework for 661 and 662. In 661a, use Hector's data to estimate how much he makes, assuming he has worked at the company for 12 years. So, um, number of years at the company, and it was given one, three, six, and seven, and the salary per hour, one year, after one year, you would be making $7 an hour. After three years, $8.50, and so forth. So the way I originally saw this was, well, if I find out how much it increases per year, so from six years to seven years, that's one year, it goes, it's an increase of 75 cents. So I know there's an increase every year of 75 cents. I could have also done it from one to three. So that's two years. So for every two years, there's an increase of $1.50. So to find one year, divide that by two, $1.50 by two, and you get 75 cents. So then I could just keep um, going on the number of years, eight years, nine years, 10 years, so forth, and keep adding 75 cents to each of those years. And I would be able to find Hector's um, hourly rate, wage. Um, but what I did is I created an equation and I found out, um, used the formula y equals mx plus b, so um, intercept form. And so I have 75 cents for the slope or rate of change, it's the increase, money increase per year. 12, or X, represents the number of years at the company. That's what we wanted to find out. And the starting salary for zero years, so when he first started the company or anyone starts the company. And the way I found that is I just subtracted one year to get to zero and subtracted 75 cents. So now I went and... Um, and simplified this equation. 75 cents multiplied by 12 equals 9. And 9 plus 6 dollars and 25 cents gives me 15 and 25 hundredths. So Hector makes 15 dollars and 25 cents per hour after working for the company for 12 years. So the equation works really well when it was maybe asking for after 30 years because it wouldn't it wouldn't make sense to keep going for 30 years on your table it would take too long 12 years it might have been just easier to go 8 and then add 75 cents 9 add 75 more cents and keep going to 12 cuz you can extend the table it's not too far so either way works. For part B, it says Hector is hiring a new employee who will work 20 hours a week. How much should the new employee earn for the first week? So for the new employee working 20 hours, so he's just starting. So if I go back up to my table, so here for zero years at the company, they're just starting, that person would be making $6.25. So I have 625 multiplied by 20 hours, which would give me 125. So he would make $125 per week um, if he worked 20 hours. Mr. Greer solved the equation. And after he checked his solution, it did not make the original equation true. So you, you needed to find the error. So here's the original equation. Here's uh, Mr. Greer's work. Here's the correct solution, the correct way. So you need to distribute first. And you can see that Mr. Greer only distributed to the first. 8 multiplied by 2x is 16x. So he forgot to distribute to the second term because he just 
has negative 3. But you have to distribute this 8 to both terms. So you should get 8 multiplied by 2x is 16. 8 multiplied by negative 3 is negative 24. And now I'm going to do inverse property of, multi, um, of addition, which is subtraction. So I'm going to subtract 4x from both sides. And 4x minus 4x is 0. It's very important that you don't forget to put that 0. It's acting as a placeholder there. Um, you can't just leave it blank. There is a value there. And now um, we need to get the x's by itself. So we need to inverse property of subtraction, which is addition. So we add 24 to both sides. And that created.